In this episode, art hacks. Now I'm gonna teach you how to make your own stickers. So what I did is I printed the word cookies on a piece of paper just like this. Next thing, you wanna get some tape. So I'm just gonna carefully place it over the word and make sure it's all covered with the tape. And with an ice cream stick, just make sure all the ink is going to stick on the sticky tape, okay? So you get every little nook and cranny. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna cut off the excess paper around the word. And it's gonna look something like this. Grab some water and then you just wanna soak it for about a minute. Rub off all the paper on the back of the tape inside the water. It's still pretty sticky as you can see. Now I'm going to stick my sticker on the cookie jar just like this. Ta -da -da -da. Oh those cookies smell so good. I was not the cookie monster that ate all these cookies. This is just an American size cookie jar. So you have a design that you really, really like and you want to put it on a surface. I'm going to teach you just how to do this. So I've got my design right here. I've got my surface that I want it on. So first thing you do is flip it behind and color in. You might want to use a pretty dark colored pencil. You just want to go as dark as you can and make sure that the whole design is covered. All right, so I've covered my design. I want to place the picture on the surface that I want and then I'm going to tape it to the surface. Line it up to where you want. Make sure you stick it down nice and tight. All four corners. Next thing, you want to get a ballpoint pen and you want to trace over all the lines on your drawing. What this is going to do is going to leave an imprint of the pencil that you just colored in onto the surface. For those who don't know, this is actually a drawing that I did of my cat Tenzin, my beloved cat Tenzin. I love him to death, I tell you. I've actually got him tattooed on my arm. So now I think I've done all the lines. So I'm gonna take off the paper now. So now that you've got your print on the surface, you can go over it with a Sharpie. All right, so this is where you wanna be a little bit more precise with your lines, okay? So I just got the ear to do now. And there you have it. I have my favorite design on a mug. If you're painting, but you're finding it really hard to find the right color shade, try Googling color wheel. It's gonna look something like this. If you find your color too bright, try adding the complementary color. Now the complementary color is the color directly opposite than the color you're using. So I've got my pink right here, so I'm gonna put it on some paper. Now I find that a little bit too bright, so I'm gonna use the complementary color, which is actually green, to make it a little bit darker. So I'm just gonna simply add it like this. So as you can see, now the pink is actually a shade darker than the original pink. And that's all there is to it. Here's a great hack for when you don't have painter's tape. Painter's tape is actually very mildly sticky. So when you stick it on a wall or some paint artwork or whatever, it's easier to rip off. As you can see, it didn't leave any marks on my piece of paper. Okay, so on this side, I have some masking tape. So you can see that it's a lot stickier. The masking tape did rip a little bit of paper. So here's a hack to turn masking tape into painter's tape. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my tape. It's very sticky and I'm gonna stick it on my clothing just like this. So as you can see, it's collected some fibers on the sticky bit, so it's gonna make it less sticky. And I'm gonna stick it on my piece of paper and I'm gonna get some painter's tape so we can compare. And now I'm gonna take off the tape. It's a lot easier, right? And then now the painter's tape feels exactly the same. No paper is ripped. Another way is to actually use a hairdryer. Okay, you wanna make this nice and warm. So what this does is it makes makes it less sticky. So you want to do that for about 10 seconds and it is a lot easier to rip off. -na 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 -na. A great way to draw a perfect circle is you get two pencils and a paper clip. All you got to do is you get one pencil, anchor it down to the place you want, grab the other pencil and then draw a circle. Okay, I gotta switch hands now. I gotta, I gotta switch hands, okay. The perfect circle. And if you want to get a bigger circle, all you have to do is add another paper clip. So I'm going to use the same anchor point and do exactly the same thing, but with this paper clip. And voila. Another way to draw a circle is to make your own compass. All you need are three pencils and three rubber bands. All you have to do is make an A just like that and you're going to want to tie the rubber bands around each of these points. Doesn't matter how you tie it, just so long as it's nice and tight. Maybe that's a little bit too wide, right? So I can actually move it closer together if I want the circle smaller. So I'm just going to use it how I normally use a compass and draw my little circle. 
And there you go, the perfect circle. If you use your scissors to cut sticky things like tape, for example, you probably find that you get all the sticky bits on your scissors, which can get really annoying over time. So I'm gonna teach you a way of how to get that stickiness off your scissors. Really simple, all you need is either nail polish remover or rubbing alcohol. I have my very sticky scissors here. It's full of gunk on both sides. I'm gonna soak up my cotton pad with some nail polish remover and then rub off all the gunk. Please be careful when you're doing this because you do not want to cut yourself on the blades. Okay, so that was a real cinch to rub off. As you can see, all the gunk is gone. And that's all there is to it. Now I've got nice clean scissors that's much easier to open and close. If you enjoy art, I'm gonna teach you some really cool techniques that you can use for your art pieces. So I'm gonna start off with two different colors. I chose fluorescent yellow and pink. Why? Because I just really, really like the combo. I think they match really, really well and it's nice and bright. And I thought these colors would look really good on the wall. So first I'm gonna put my base color on, which is this fluorescent yellow, and I'm gonna spread it all around the canvas. Oh, look at this color. It makes me so happy. Okay, so I've basically covered the whole canvas. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is just the base, all right? So now that I put my base on, I'm gonna set it aside and let it dry. The next thing I did is I went to the computer and chose a font that I like and I typed out the word love. Why I chose love? Because I think everybody should love and needs love. So once you've got it on a cardboard, you wanna cut around the lettering. Now make sure you're really careful because you want to get clean edges. This, this is a really stiff. It's making me shake. <laughs> For some bits, you're going to have to use a pen knife and I'm just going to carefully cut along the line. Okay, so I've got my first letter out and you just continue along and make sure you cut out the entire word. All right, so I've cut my stencil out. It took a little bit longer than I thought it would, but this is the end result. So now that my base is dry and I'm gonna make a line. So the way I'm gonna do it is use painter's tape and then I wanna stick that down. So what this is for is it's going to be my guide to where I wanna put my word love. Now I'm gonna use this easy tack glue and what it's gonna do, it's gonna make it mildly sticky, kind of like a post-it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna place the word where I'd like it on the canvas, which is gonna be about here. And then I'm gonna take off the tape because I've lined it up already. So the next thing you wanna do is you wanna grab a sea sponge and the next color, which is hot pink. So with the sea sponge, I'm just gonna dab around my lettering, just like this. I'm gonna dab all over the canvas, okay? I love it. It's so nice and cheerful. You can put the paint on the canvas like that and then you can just dab away this way and spread it around. You just wanna make sure that all around the word is gonna be completely covered so that later when you peel off this stencil, you'll see the word pop out even more. And there you have it, the masterpiece. So I'm gonna be putting this and different variations up online on tandemmerch.com. So if you want, you can purchase it there. So I'm only gonna be doing limited original pieces like this one, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna sign the side of it. I kind of went over the edge a little bit, whoops. But whoever decides to get this, you'll know it's the original piece. <laughs> And that is it for this episode. If you didn't already know, I've started designing our own merchandise. And you'll find things like this. Brand new keychains in my favorite color. You can go check out tandemmerch.com. You'll find this and other things too. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at rjt99. And if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified every time a video comes out. Or you can just simply download the free Click Network app to watch all of our videos before they come out on YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. Mwah.